Hello everyone. Um, today is Monday the 27th, I think. I, hey, I don't know. It's one of those. Um, March 27th, I think. <clears throat> but um, I haven't made a video in a while. Um, I had some doctor's appointments that I wanted to kind of get out of the way before I give you guys an update. <clears throat> so I had a mammogram and ultrasound done. Um, and, um, I've seen my oncologist, um, about two, three days after that. And then the following week I had to see my surgeon as well. So, um, I wanted to update you guys, uh, from the appointments that I had. So, like I said, I had a mammogram and ultrasound done. That took a while. I, I swear I was there for like two hours. It took some time. Um, I received the, their report um, from the mammogram and ultrasound. They told me it would take probably about two days, two or three days for the doctor to receive it. Uh, but I had received it the very next day. Um, I'm not exactly sure how to read like doctor's lingo and how they talk. So I actually sent the report to my cousin who is a PA, um, and we read over it together. Um, so she explained to me what it said. So I grabbed her information. I heard what she said. Um, uh, but I was like, okay, well, I guess I'm going to wait for me to see my oncologist, which I had an appointment with my oncologist that week as well. Um, I was supposed to have another treatment on the 14th of March. That was supposed to be my last treatment, but I had my appointment with my oncologist on that Thursday prior. So I went to my appointment with my oncolo oncologist on Thursday. My cousin came with me. Um, so I, um, he read the report, so I am happy to announce that I am cancer free. They cannot, uh, locate the tumor through mammogram or ultrasound. It is not there anymore. All they see is the little marker that they placed there when I had the biopsy done, but the tumor's gone. So, um, from that appointment, I was like... I know I'm supposed to have a treatment on Tuesday, but I don't want to do it. Like, if you ask me, it's pointless because the the round of chemo that I was receiving had been really, really bad for me. Um, my body was not tolerating it good at all. He did everything he possibly could. He was taking down the dosage. He took the dosage down about two or three times. He was prescribing me different meds to try to help, and it just was not helping. So I told him, hey, it's supposed to be my last treatment anyway. I don't see a difference of me doing seven treatments versus eight, number one. Number two, the cancer is gone. Why would I even put my body through that again? And he said he was absolutely fine with me not taking the last treatment, um, but he did say that he uh, needs me to continue taking the immunotherapy, which is uh, called Keytruda. I will still have to take that every three weeks. Um, and it, unfortunately, um, it's not a pill form. I have to go in and I have to still have them give it to me through IV, um, through my port. My port is still here right here. So they still have to administer that. I have six months of that, that I have to continue. Um, so on Tuesday, the 14th, when I went in, um, I just got the Katruda. It takes about 30 minutes to administer. I took that day off work, um, because I, I wasn't sure how I was going to feel. Um, so I just took the day off work. Luckily I did. Uh, because 
I didn't feel that good at all. Um, that whole day, um, I, I think my appointment was at like 9 30, 10 o'clock. And after I got the Katruda, uh, uh, it was just a really, really bad day for me. Um, I was just really down. I was nauseous. I had that whole feeling of not wanting water again. Um, but once I went to sleep that night and woke up, I woke up the next day, I was absolutely fine. So, um, I'm guessing the Katruda for me, um, instead of taking the day off work, I decided for them to administer the, the, the Katruda later in the day, like at around two or two thirty, um, so that I can work, um, and then go get the Katruda. And then I would come home and try to rest uh, for the rest of the day um, and hopefully feel better the next day. So that's what happened on the 14th. Um, then I had an appointment with my surgeon. Um, so she has all the results and said the same thing. I got it confirmed not only by my cousin, not only by my oncologist, but my surgeon too, that that report says that the cancer is gone. So... I mean, like for me, I, I I wanted to go back to the place and have them do it over again because I'm like, what? Like, really? It, it's like when I first found out I had cancer, it took a, it didn't hit me. I like, I heard them, but it took a while to kind of register. And now hearing that I'm cancer free, it's doing the same thing. It's taking a while to, to register for me. It's kind of weird. But um, my surgeon said the same thing, that they cannot detect the tumor. Um, so that's really good. Um, so now we're waiting on a surgery date, which I should find out this week when my surgery will be. Um, again, I am getting a double mastectomy, meaning they are going to remove both breasts. Um, according to the doctor, I will be out of work for six to eight weeks um to heal from that so i should find out a surgery date this week i'm actually waiting on them to kind of call me so i can figure everything else out um but i will continue to make videos um I just, it, it was a long gap in this video because I had a couple of doctor's appointments that I wanted to kind of get through. Um, and I wanted to confirm that it was gone based off, you know, the report. So I made sure that, you know, my doctor seen it, my surgeon seen it, you know, my cousin read it. Like everybody said the same thing that that's what it says. So I wanted to make sure you know, I had the information correct before I just, you know, give it to you guys. But so that's where we're at right now. Um, I have on the fourth, um, I will have to get another, um, Katruda, uh, treatment, which is on a Tuesday. So it's still going to be on a Tuesday every three weeks. Um, and then I see my oncologist again on the 6th. He's just going to do like a simple follow-up. Um, but right now, um, I feel okay. I feel, I, I, I may sound a little congested right now because I'm not sick, but, you know, I've never dealt with allergies before. I'm not an allergy person. But uh, yeah, that's what kind of happened to me lately is allergies, which is not normal for me. Um, but that's why I sound congested. I'm not, I'm not sick at all, but, um, so that's where we're at now. Um, and the only thing, um, that I kind of have lingering is the issues with my fingers. My fingers are, um, kind of like numb, tingling a little bit. Um, I've had that issue ever since I started chemo. Um, so that's one issue. Also, my upper right arm is kind of weak. Um, so 
my oncologist said that he's not going to treat it right now. Um, he's going to wait because since I'm not receiving the chemo anymore, it'll probably go away on its own, which I'm hoping that it goes away on its own. Um, uh, so we're not going to do anything about that right now. We're just going to kind of wait and see, um, see if it goes away. Um, so that's the only issue I have other than that. Um, I mean, I'm not a hundred percent. Um, I have the body of like a 90 year old, I'm kind of weak. I can still get up and I can move and I can walk. Um, but, um, like strength wise and everything, I'm not there yet. Um, and he said it will take some time that I have to realize that I went through six months of aggressive chemo. So it's going to take my body some time to kind of get back to normal. Um, and I know it will. It's just like, for me, I'm just ready to feel better. And I feel like I'm not kind of, <laughs> I'm not going to get that opportunity yet because like I'm rolling out of being done with treatment, but then I have to roll right into surgery. So it's like, when am I going to feel good? You know? So, um, he told me to give my body some time, uh, according to other people that I've spoken to, they said it took them months, maybe about a year, six months to a year to, to feel good you know, better to feel back to themselves. Um, I'm hoping that's not the case. Um, I still struggle with a little bit of dizziness here and there. Um, if I get up too fast, it's like, whoa, like I got to slow down. Um, I still eat like regular. Um, I think, I guess I'll have to wait when I go back to the doctor to check my weight, but um, from the last treatment that I re received to the follow-up, uh, the last time I went to the oncologist, I had lost, um, the highest amount of weight that I had since I had kind of started this whole journey. Um, so when I went to my surgeon, uh, to get weighed, which was kind of about a week and a half, two weeks in between my last weigh in with the oncologist and the surgeon, I had dropped an additional two pounds. So I'm, I'm not exactly sure why I'm losing weight uh, because I'm definitely eating. Um, and when I say eating, I'm like, my whole appetite is back full force. Um, it's almost like I'm eating more almost because my body felt like let's eat everything we didn't get a chance to eat and that's what I'm doing I'm just eating 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 um but I haven't gained any weight um but it's not a drastic weight loss or else you guys would be able to tell like my face is skinny or something like that but no I still look the same um Everything is the same. So since I have been off of uh, the chemo and stuff, um, hair is growing back. If you notice, I have a little bit of eyebrows. They're growing back in. I don't know if you can see them, but they're there. Um, the hair on my legs is coming back. <laughs> um, I, my hair um, on my head is coming back. It's all white, though, and I've heard this from several people that when your hair grows back after chemo, it grows back white, and it literally does look white, like, that's not going to fly with me, so as soon, <laughs> as soon as I have enough to get it dyed, I will be getting it dyed, because I cannot walk around with gray hair or white hair, that's not going to work. I don't have enough hair to do anything to it. It's still, it's probably about the length of a grain of rice or maybe the length of two grains of rice. Um, but I mean, it's growing. Actually, I'll show you guys. So this is my hair right now. Hopefully you guys can see good. Um, 
it has some dark spots, but a lot of it is white. Um, my edges are not growing back in right now, but my hair itself is, it's growing. It's a little spiky, but you know, it's there. Um, I've never actually went outside without my head being covered. I always have a scarf or something on. Um, I've just been, I don't know, a little self-conscious of it. So if I go outside or I go out to eat or I hang around anybody, I always have one of these on. Um, I got a wig a while ago. I can count on one hand how many times I've worn that uh, because I just... I don't think wigs are for me. It makes my head hot and it, it's annoying and it irritates. So I'm going to order another one um, that looks like it's braided. So that's more my look anyway. I usually keep my hair braided. But yeah, so hair is growing back. As you can see, my eyebrows, the hair on my head. So um other than that, like, that's about it. Um, so that's my update. I am officially cancer free. I want to thank every single person who not only watched the videos, but my support system. I had a huge support system. Um, and like, I can't thank my support system enough, um, for just, being there, taking me to doctor's appointments, picking me up from doctor's appointments, anything that have to do with my kids, making sure they get to school, from school, to practice, from practice, um, competitions that they had that I couldn't attend, like everything like that. I had a really good support system. I really did. I had people that was checking in on me continuously. Um, I definitely appreciate appreciate it um the prayers the constant prayers prayer works I'm definitely one that you know I I was the type of person that prayed every night before bed that's just kind of what I do uh but during this journey I found myself praying multiple times a day it didn't have to be right before bed it was just like whenever I felt the need to pray I would pray um so thank you for the prayers, the kind words. Um, I really appreciate all of it. Uh, for all the females out there, please, please go get yourself checked. Um, get a mammogram. I don't care if they tell you you're not old enough yet or something. Get a mammogram. Um, just to be on the safe side um, and continue to get a mammogram every single year. Um, so again, thank you for everything. I actually um, took my kids out to dinner um, and told them the good news. So I will post that video up in a few days. Um, I just wanted to get this video posted first. Um, and then shortly after I will post the video of me telling my kids getting and seeing their reaction, but I will post another video. Um, what I'll probably do is post another video on the fourth, um, which is after my, um, Katruda infusion. And then I'll probably do another video on the sixth. Or sometimes after, sometime after the six, which is uh, will be after my uh, follow up appointment with my oncologist. So, like I said, I'll still post videos. It's just been a long gap in between uh, because I basically had to kind of digest the news that I was cancer free and then wait till I had um, my appointments and everything. Um, so yes, that's where we are at today. Um, and again, thank you guys very much for watching. I will continue to post videos. Um, and, um, be on the lookout for a party. Um, my cousin is already trying to plan a big party, a cancer-free party. Um, 
But I want to wait until summer. I want to wait until after surgery and stuff. So probably going to have a huge party then. Uh, so yeah, I'll let you guys know about that too. Anyways, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Um, appreciate everything. And I will talk to you later. Bye.